Welcome to this video tutorial on the topic of grinding. In this video, you will be introduced to the grinding process and learn how the different grinders can be exchanged in the software. There are different production methods available depending on the grinding and milling unit, as well as the material that you are using. You can choose between grinding, wet milling, or dry milling. In this tutorial, we are going to show you the steps for the various grinding options. The instruments displayed here are used for grinding along with the associated torque wrench featuring the triangular clamping format. Detailed information regarding which material can be ground or milled using which tools can be found under Downloads in the CAD CAM section of our Densply Serona website. Select an appropriate block size under Block Sizes in the Page Palette. In our case, we continue with the selected block size and minimize the window. Once you click on Tools on the right in the Side Palette, you are provided with two options. The Set Sprue Position function allows you to adjust the sprue position on the restoration in two different ways in steps by clicking on the arrow in the circle segment or continuously by clicking and holding the left mouse button on or inside the arc and moving the mouse. In our case, we position the sprue in the lingual direction. The Move Block function enables you to move the block around the restoration in all directions until it reaches one of our block margins. This function is important and useful with polychromatic blocks. Cervically, the restoration receives more dentinal mass with a higher color content. Incisally, it gains a higher percentage of enamel with translucent material. You can move the block by clicking on one of the arrows indicating the movement axes. You can also rotate the restoration in the block. This function is handled exactly the same way as the move function. For some materials, the grinding process can be accelerated if desired. To do so, enable the fast mode. However, as a result, the morphology of the masticatory surface will be less detailed and the surface rougher. Fine is the standard grinding mode and can be selected for all indications and materials. Veneer mode ensures that even the finest structures are taken into account during grinding. This prevents binding of the veneer or anterior crowns. You can select the Extra Fine option in conjunction with the 4-axis CEREC MCXL grinding and milling unit. This option can only be used with high-strength ceramics, and your unit must be equipped with the corresponding instruments. For this, go to Configuration in the System menu and select the Devices option. Define your grinding and milling unit and click on the Change Instruments option. To use the Extra Fine Grinding Mode, Grinding Set 1 must be equipped with the Extra Fine Instruments and grinding set 2 with the standard grinding instruments. In our case, set 2 already has the right grinder, but grinding set 1 still needs to be fitted with the appropriate instruments. Grinding set 1 is highlighted in orange and therefore selected. Click on Start to proceed. Now select the cylinder burr 12EF on the left and the cylinder pointed burr EF on the right. EF stands for extra fine. Next, insert the instruments into the grinding and milling unit 
and click Start. Then exit the configuration. You can now select the Extra Fine option. Please note that the Extra Fine grinding option requires twice as much time as the Fine option. Click on Start to start the grinding process. Thank you very much for your attention. We would like to wish you every success when working with CEREC.